Hello everyone, I'm Anne, the little French in Big Texas. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to compare vacuum sealing versus dry canning. And I would love to hear your thoughts as well. So please put a comment below and let me know what you prefer and why. Because I was asked that question on one of my previous video by dry canning. Why do you dry can versus vacuum seal? Like that's a good question because we actually do both in the house. So I gave it some salt. And just to compare here, I have two jars of rice. This one at the top has a VS that I always put for vacuum seal. And this one I just dry canned. So two jars, two different uh, long-term storage uh, processes here. So let's talk about each one. And I'm going to start here with the vacuum sealing because for me, I'm a busy woman and you know, between work, kids, everything, I like to do things fast. And this is probably the fastest way out of both. So vacuum sealing here. What I like about it is that, okay, I use jars here, but you don't have to. You can use a different container. You can use a mallard bag. And okay, so the, the bag is not as bug proof as a jar right so you're not sure how long it's gonna last right but look if you use one of these big buckets that you can find you know the big plastic buckets the, i don't know maybe five eight gallon buckets from lowe's home depot they're pretty cheap you put your bag inside and then you cover it with the lid i mean that should make it bug proof so there's a way to vacuum seal here without using a jar as a container. And you also have different options to actually seal it. You can use, uh, like me here, my vacuum sealer, which in my opinion is the safest way to do it. But you are going to need a vacuum sealer and an adapter. But both are fairly easy to get off the internet. So here I've got my two adapters, one regular mouse, white mouse. They are the brand Food Saver, available of, on Amazon. I will put the link uh, in the description below. It's probably $20, less than $20. And they always come with the cord to link it with your vacuum sealer. And no, you don't need to have a Food Saver vacuum sealer to use them. I have three different brands, none of them is food saver, and it works just fine. So I usually use my NutriChef here and vacuum seal. And I really like it because you know if it, whether it's done right or not, because when you take out the hose, you hear that, pssst, which tells you it's vacuum seal, and you can just see, tell it is done. You heard it, like I've sealed sugar here. And that is it. Yeah, I can't move it. Pretty much done. So I like to use jars and I like to use my NutriChef and the adapter, but you don't have to. If you use a bag, a mylard bag, you can use one of these uh, oxygen uh, absorbers just to suck up the oxygen from the bag. So here, actually what I have is not even an oxygen absorber, it's a moisture absorber. Because I'm on the Gulf Coast, it's very wet, especially in the summer, and I would need both here, both an oxygen and a humidity absorber. So something to keep in mind, you need to put the right quantity. And this one here is a bit of a new one I found on Amazon. It, um, so it's a silica gel desiccant, it uh, has a, an indicator, a color indicator that is supposed to show you when it's completely used and you need to replace it and you can reactivate it in the oven. So I've never tried it. I wanted to try. Um, I don't know if you have. If you have, please let me know. But looking forward uh, to trying this out. It's another way to do it. So the vacuum sealing, vacuum sealing process is a bit, uh, it gives you more options. Let's say you don't have to use jars. Uh, you can use uh, some oxygen moisture absorbers or your vacuum sealer. It gives you different options and it is also much faster. 
because you pour the rice in that jar and the vacuum sealing process takes 15 seconds and you're done. So personally, I like it. But the question is, how long will it last? And I don't have the answer for you on this one because we are starting here. So only time will tell. On the other hand, if we look at the dry canning, here we have experience in the house. My husband has dry canned for a long time and that can last at least 10 years, easy 10 years, if it's done properly. But here it gives you less options. You need to use a jar and you need to do it right. There are some mistakes, I've done them, I share them on videos with you. You can do mistakes, uh, you will see if it hasn't worked because it's not gonna seal. So you're gonna see it, but you might have to do it again. And it takes more time. I mean, you need an hour and a half in the oven over there. So it is more time consuming. It uses the energy of the oven as well. So to keep into consideration here, but it is more of a long-term solution for me. And one of the thing I really want to compare here, and it's not even rice. Let's take the example of flour. Flour, very often it develops some bugs, especially nowadays, you know, it doesn't even take time to develop bugs. Sometimes it has stayed on, you know, in transit so long when it arrives on the shelves at the store, it already has bugged and then you bring them to the house. We had the case for a few flower bags here that were not even past the expiration date. We just brought them home, we opened one and there were bugs in it. So here, let's say your flower has maybe some tiny bugs or ready to develop some. You put that flower in the oven for an hour and 30 minutes. Do you think the bugs are gonna survive? I think they're all gonna die. So that one is gonna kill your bugs, you know, the dry canning. On the other hand, if you vacuum seal, with the vacuum sealer, I'm hoping it's really gonna suck up all the oxygen and the moisture, I'm hoping. So will the bugs survive? I would hope not, but I'm not 100% sure. And then if you put some of these uh, absorbers, how long will it take? for them to actually suck everything in? And will they actually suck everything? I don't know either. So for me, the vacuum sealing is not a guarantee here that you're gonna kill your bugs. They might survive, even if there's a tiny bit of oxygen left, tiny bit of moisture, I don't know. So the dry canning process is, in, in my opinion, huh? it's just my opinion, my thoughts, safer and more for really long-term food storage. The vacuum sealing is a quick option that you can have for maybe meter. You know, if this one is for 10 years, maybe these ones you're gonna use them first in two, three, five years from now, and they might still be good. I mean, so far I've had some for, some for a year and they look perfect. So, but I don't know if they're gonna hold up to 10 years. That is the big question mark. And I would really welcome your feedback, how you keep your dry food rice, flour, sugar, cereal, you name it. Do you prefer to dry can, to vacuum seal? Do you use a vacuum sealer in a jar? Or do you prefer to use the big buckets with the mallard bag? What do you do? And have you had some bugs that actually made it through the bags? Thank you all to share your experience. That's how we all learn at the end. So thank you all. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Make sure you choose the ring, bell, all button and you'll be informed every time I post a video. Thank you all for watching.